Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I am doing another meteorology video, and this time it's on Winter Storm Europa. It's the huge blizzard. Definitely, you guys heard about it. They've been talking about it all over the news. It's a winter storm, actually a blizzard. There are blizzard watches up for most of North Dakota, South Dakota, parts of Minnesota. It's just gonna be a massive st snowstorm, massive windmaker, and a massive troublemaker because it's gonna be on Christmas Day. Couldn't find a better better day, but it just chose Christmas Day. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Um this is Friday. There is going to be a little disturbance across the Midwest tracking. It's gonna maybe drop three to five inches, one to three inches across parts of north northern Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, southern Minnesota, but not a big deal. It's going to move off quickly. This is the big story right here. Um, this uh, winter storm Europa is first going to bring heavy snow to their mountains, the Sierras. And that is just wonderful news because the snowpack in the mountains is the uh, is the California's water source for the rest of the year. So they'll take anything they will get. So that's awesome. That's good. But as it drops down into the plains, it begins to strengthen significantly. Notice how these uh, little, I forgot, isobars, yes. The isobars, they tighten so much, and the closer they are together, that means the more wind there is going to be. And look how low that pressure is. And it's not it, it keeps, look at this, this is just a mega storm. Do you see how heavy that snow is? But look at this also, look how far the uh, rain, rain snow line is all the way almost up to Canada border. It's gonna bring up a bunch of warm air and moisture on the east side of it, but on the west, si west side, it's going to be a full on blizzard. Heavy snow, really strong winds, which is why it's a blizzard. I mean, look at that. That is just incredibly strong wind. That is at least wind gu gusting up to 50 miles per hour, at least. 983, the pressure. Look at that. Some of areas, like actually in south, southeastern or North Dakota, might get a little bit rain because of the low actually passing right by it. And with the low, it's usually not cold enough to be all snow, like actually where the low is. So it's going to ch change over a little bit to a little bit of rain, but it's going to change back over to all snow. And it's going to drop a, quite a hefty dose of snow. They were talking about up to two feet of snow uh, last time, but I don't think, I think they decreased it ever since, and yeah, about 13, 16 inches, 15, it's going to be a foot and a half-ish about in those areas are going to receive, and notice where the rain is going to be transition just cuts off very quickly, and also the snow in the Midwest from that little clipper that's going to come along. Um, I would like to also show you the temperatures on how damn warm it's going to be. It's gonna just be ridiculous. Okay, so this is Christmas Eve right here. You see little freezing lines, not, not, not nothing too special, not too cold, not too warm. But then as the low makes its progress into the plains, it drags all the warm air up. Look at this, 60s, 50s up in Iowa. It's gonna be almost 50 degrees in Chicago on that day. Look at that, the freezing, uh, Freezing line is way up in Canada's border. <laughs> Look at it, 58, 60s in, um, in upper Indiana, northern Indiana. But then, as the storm passes through, the cold air comes back. And uh, the, some of this cold air can be actually pretty cold, like 18 degrees during the... So this is, okay, that kind of made no sense. I'm just like, 18 degrees? No. But what I was trying to say is, on a Monday, after the storm passes, at midnight... At Chicago, it's gonna be 44 degrees. But at midnight, Tuesday, it's gonna be 18 degrees. It's gonna be temperature, it's gonna be falling throughout the whole day. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be bitterly cold. Um, this is how the, cause they posted a blizzard watch for the, um, South Dakota, North Dakota areas. 6 to 12 inches of snow is possible. Blizzard conditions are possible, especially Sunday afternoon through Monday morning. Yeah, it's just the, the winds are just going to be incredible. I don't know if they, they definitely talk about it, but I don't know if they specifically mention the wind speeds because they posted this blizzard watch 
really far in advance. It's still three days, four days. They posted it yesterday in, in some areas. Four days ahead, posting the Blizzard Watch. That takes a lot of damn confidence you know, for that to happen. And I want to also point out the temperatures. So this is Take Bismarck, North, North Dakota. Heavy snow starts around late Saturday night. It's going to be throughout the whole Christmas Day, whole Sunday, and into Monday. Look at that low of 8. Monday night, negative 4. Wow, it's going to be just remarkable storm for probably for most. Because, I mean, if you take, if you hunker down, get in your location where you need to be Christmas Day, and you enjoy the snow from inside the safety of your house, then it can't not cause you no harm. But if you're on the road, and you must be on the road, then this will be a problem, troublemaker for you. But, come on, it's Christmas Day. You could enjoy the snow. Just get inside, do the plans that you need to do before the storm hits, which is Christmas Day. So any last-minute shopping, do it before, because this storm is not going to be a joke. And it's not just a regular little, oh, it's just a uh, winter storm. We get so much of those. No, this is a blizzard. The winds are going to be incredible. Temperatures are going to be really low. And the snow is going to be massive amounts of it. So, this is pretty much it, guys. It was just a short little video updating about on a winter storm Europa. As always, thanks for watching, and see you on the next episode.